model from Point of Play. See you then. everyone, I'm Carly from Carly's Creative Play. Welcome, I hope you've all had a really good week. Um, I'm just going to show you 
how it went from last week, the headband, which I'm wearing. So, as you can see, I varnished it up and I've got the top done and around the sides. Um, I think if I was to make it again, which I'm going to make other ones at my own time, around the side there, I think I'd put more of that flower cane that I've got on the top. So, yeah, but it turned out well. And look, after baking, if you're worried about the flexibility, look at how much you can straighten it out to, and it's not cracked the polymer clay. Yeah, so you really can make headbands out of it. Let's just put that back on. Right, if you want to see me making that, um, it's on last week's uh, audio levels are a bit low. Sorry about that. Um, is that any better? Oh, right. So I've got my guy, well, my guy, my husband. He's my um, tech person, so he's having a fiddle around to change it. Right. That should be back to normal. That should be back to normal now. Windows had, um, Windows had messed it around, apparently. Silly, right. Because we've got a lot to do today, I've already made the base. This one is gold, like a cherry red and a purple. So all I did for the cherry red was mix the um, FIMO standard red with a bit of the um, Bordeaux to get a darker red. Um, if you want to see how I make these swirly patterns, I've done them in so many videos now. pretty much something I do all the time um, right so we got to make this is what we're gonna make um, is are you ready with that picture brilliant right penguin in a wheelchair now I have a range when my shops open of various and um, cute animals in wheelchairs on walking sticks i've got a few who have stoma bags for colostomies um crutches as well as the other one i do i think it's good if you've got these sorts of things to have things around that are both beautiful and normalizing and it's a good thing it's not something that's needs to be hidden from our art and our environment I myself have a whole heap of health problems so I know that it's good just to have it as a positive thing in your life so wheelchairs there's a few tricky bits to it because you've got the seat is raised off the floor onto those wheels so what we're gonna need is some wire armatures now armature is the term used for any form of support system usually internally um, so what I've used is some florist wire I've gone on the thicker side of things where's my bag of wire um, yes please can you bring the picture down <sighs> the one thing I don't get ready is the one thing I can't find no no the little pieces with all the measurements on them of what wires is what thickness oh well, i can't tell you but it's on the thicker side we're talking probably around a 15 to 17 sort of thickness and these are the first shapes you're going to need i know they're white on white so let's hold them up on the back of my hands and the measurements are that long bit is five centimeters five centimeters on the side bit and two centimeters for the little sticky out bit you're going to need two of those now instead of measuring each of them what i find easiest is measure one up then put the wire so that it's flat on your counter so they're the same length and then you can use your pliers 
when you put it at the top of the first bend so if that was stuck upwards it would level off the two so you can bend in exactly the same place so you only really need to measure this stuff once so they're your your first two pieces i'm going to put them there out of the way next two pieces that you're going to need i used a slightly thinner wire so i would say this is probably an 18 um sounds about right to me what you'll find with florist wire the higher the number the thinner the wire so things up around 30 look like fishing line like cheese wire um down around the i think 14 the lowest it really goes i think probably around 10 12 is coat hanger wire so yeah right the next two bits are two and a half centimeters by two and a half centimeters two of those then we're on to the slightly trickier what these right this is a nine centimeter bit of wire i've used a rolling pin to wrap it round these are for the back tires so if you want to see what to wrap it round, that's roughly the right size hold it against the side piece and see what proportion looks right in that back corner so i found a standard rolling pin does fine for it and what i've done i'm probably going to need that out later anyway is when the wire has butted against each other i wrapped a bit of masking tape around that join and once we put the clay on it that would just help bridge that gap and help strengthen it so two of those try and make them as flat as you can so i spend a bit of time on my glass board pushing it down making sure that they're not bent up then we're going to need some little tires these are 4.3 centimeters worth of wire and them paint handle that's actually where's my thicker one it was a thicker one there we go a thicker paint handle is what i used it's actually one of my um rubber tipped ones but you can see what i mean paintbrush handle kind of size they don't have to be exactly the same size as what i'm using whatever you've got that looks kind of proportionally well they're not the full wheel size this is not the outside tire rim so they you're looking for slightly small because the outside tire is going to sit on the outside of that okay so there your wires ready then we need to go over to foil and you're going to make a little teardrop it needs to be pretty small in comparison to the chair um this is going to be the inside of your penguin you don't have to use a full armature in it you just got to make sure you bake it long enough that your baking temperature so 110 for FIMO gets all the way into that center the last bit of armatures that I've made up this is some baking paper folded over for the bulk and then I've wrapped a bit of foil as smoothly as I can around it and masking taped it this needs to be the height that you want your wheelchair seat to be off the ground okay so you don't need a lot of height <clears throat> what i tend to go for is i'll put the wheel so that the center is in that back corner and then measure from there to there roughly that sort of height yeah so a little bit more technical than some of my other projects have started out but here we are sorry i'm drinking a lot at the moment now the 
we're going to make the seat cushion and the back cushion first. I've gone for a light blue. I'm going to take off roughly the amount of clay that I think I'm going to need. Now, the width that you're going to need for your cushions is going to need to be a little bit wider than your penguin armature so that it can sit in the wheelchair comfortably and you want the clay to I would say be at least a centimeter thick to really give it the stability that you want I've already conditioned all this clay out um, conditioning is where you knead the clay together in order to mix in the plasticizers a plasticizer is basically an oil based chemical usually that keeps the clay soft and it can leach out to the edge so I'm just making this a rough rectangle now what I found is that bottom seat don't take a lot of time on it it's going to be covered up majority majoritively by your penguin so long as it is roughly a rectangle and it is wide enough for what you want which that definitely is yeah then we're good and we're going to check it on the model base to make sure that the seats not too wide I might bring it in just a little bit there we go that'll do it that's going to one side oops there we go we basically got to do the same again for the back panel that can be slightly thinner and the trick with the back cushion is so long as the back side of it is really neat you don't have to worry so much about the front because again penguins going to be covering it you don't have to do a penguin I have got wheelchairs so far with <clears throat> bears dragons I think I've got a lion still in my shop I've made lions in wheelchairs they're actually kind of popular because it's got the bravery element as have dragons did I say unicorns I've got a unicorn as well my shop is closed until I feel safe enough and get my vaccine I don't want to make the trips to the post office so once I'm vaccinated I will open up my Etsy shop and everything I've made all this last year and before will all be available again to buy right grab back your other cushion and just have a measure up so long as it's the same width again you don't really need to worry about the height but if you got it out width wise you're gonna have trouble so I want to make sure one side is completely smooth and flat so I'm gonna roll in pin it and rub my thumb over it to get rid of any fingerprints and scuff marks because I want the back to look pretty I'm sure that's a single speck of glitter it really is pervasive glitter I love it to death but yeah it's definitely the STDs of the craft world yeah. right that's what I'm looking for that's good okay so those two out the way <clears throat> now we're gonna get into the wheels I know it seems a bit odd the way I'm making all these different components and not the main frame first but the main frame I'm going to be making out of black so the tip for all people who are not um, that haven't been claimed for very long do your lightest colors first and work to your darkest 
So for me, I found you go white, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, then green. And if you go in that order, you don't end up completely messing up your colours and then do black at the end because each of the sec the next colour has a component of the colour before and is slightly darker so yeah bit of um bit of weird maths there but it works right what we're trying to do is we're going to try and fit the clay into that hole like that now what I find, you can put the ring on and then cut your circle. But I tend to try and go for a slightly thicker disc than the wire is. That's slightly um, smaller. Like so. And again, blade safety. Put your sharp side away from your arm. We're going to get that disc and put it in the middle of that wheel. Hmm, that's too thin. Oh well, use them on the arms. Thicker discs. Let's do it the way I told you first. Then I haven't got rest to make. So I want it slightly thicker than the wire. Like that. And... that sort of thickness so two of those I will hold it up yep right so that's the kind of thickness I'm looking at and we're going to get this wire and put it around the outside and then we're going to start to pinch that disc so that it fits snugly in that wire like so see quick crack mark there I'm just gonna smudge out now if because we want to make it look more like a wheelchair wheel I'm gonna roll and pin it just to smooth out that surface because you'll see that on an actual wheelchair the surface of the inner wheel is pretty smooth you can do them with spokes and not this solid panel but it's a lot harder and if you look at a lot of modern wheelchairs they have that solid panel color insert to the wheels and not spokes I think it's probably because it's easier to keep it clean keeping spokes clean isn't that easy and it's not that much of an issue for cars because your car stays outside but if you've got a wheelchair that's going indoors and outdoors you want to try and keep it as clean as you can so that you're not tracking too much schmoo into the house so at the moment they look like um What's those um, spongy biscuits? Oh, what are they called? Macaroons, like really thin macaroons. That's what we want. And they're going to one side again. Now, we're going to do the same thing with the little wheels. So I only need, I'm probably going to say half of one of these discs. Like so. Let's roll that into a ball. So if you don't start with a cylinder like that, I'll show you how to do it with a ball of clay, because you can. So let's quickly get that into two balls. Again, if you're gonna get hooked by the clay bug like I am, learn to dual roll like this. It took me a couple of days to a week and it really cuts your time down. So you again just feed your ball onto the ring and push it flat and if you're 
think oh I've got too much clay like that you can either take it out pinch them off and redo it or push it towards the center like that get my ring on to the depth that I want it so like that then you can stick it on its side and use your blade to cut off the excess got to get over the top of that so you want it pretty thin to the metal like that see and then I can just re-push it back into its wheel shape neaten up those edges doesn't really matter if it overlaps you just want it to be nice and round okay now I know that that's going to be too much clay because it was for there so if I take off roughly the same amount so that's more like it. get that blade out my way and pinch see almost done with our blue we just got one well technically two little components left to do which are the handles so small bit of clay really small little pinch because it's only going to go on the end of the sticks like a little tiny cylinder so that'll probably do two bits of clay that size you want to try and get them as even as possible on all your um mirrored parts because we're making a man-made thing they tend to always be uniform whereas things from nature like trees and animals and stuff if you get it slightly out it's normal it does look a bit odd when you do with this right i know i kept them in balls that's what i want i'm just going to put them out of the way and get rid of my blue <clears throat> hopefully everyone's good so far always welcome to put in questions i'm always happy to answer them so we're going to coat these wires in black clay now need enough to be able to go along the whole thing and it doesn't matter if we end up with excess because that's easy to get rid of on this what we're going to do is a lump of black clay we're feeding the wire through the middle and bring it around that bend doesn't matter if it rips the whole bigger on the clay there it's fine but we want it in the middle bit now I'm closing up any rips by pushing into the clay getting any air out and we're going to start to bring that clay up around that wire twist and pull you can feel if the clay hasn't stuck properly to the wire if there's too much of an air bubble you might need to stab it with a pin tool but up like that and you can feel where the bend is just bring the clay around the bend we're going to need it a lot thinner than this but I'm just going to take off some of this excess before I thin it down so that's all you do with excess you just get to the top of the wire and pinch it off so pinch and pull so it's nice and thin you don't want to go so thin that it's breaking through and showing your wire if your wire is the same color at all that's what happens if you get an air bubble can you see that sort of baggy bump that's the problem that's happening there is you need to push the air out of that gap it's not sticking to the wire properly 
if you have wire that hasn't got a paper cover to it you might want to consider masking taping your wire for this because you really want it to hold well and move along the wire um at a, okay english carly it needs to stick to the wire and the surface needs to move around if you've got completely smooth wire like this the clay it can be hard to get it this thin it's fine on the arms that's what we want is clay that moves around a bit right just giving it a nice little roll get the shape how I want like so now on that wire we need a bit sticking at the top so just pulled a bit off and we're going to neaten that up like that neaten it up and you're going to want to take some time to make this look uniform and tidy by just giving it a little roll in your fingers so it looks less bumpy here we go right bring it round this corner and we want on this bottom edge to go all the way to the end if you haven't got black clay or you want to go with a different color that's absolutely fine wheelchairs because people use them a lot they customize them so you don't tend to have the single standard color don't forget yes jamie said don't forget to wipe your hands i um, once i'm done with the black i definitely will need to <clears throat> right that's where the end of the wire is so this is a little bit thick along here you can use an exacto blade to trim it if you're worried about moving it along but i find it's much easier just to take the excess move it down the wire and pinch it off at the end than it is to try and use a blade to trim it all up Here we go, we almost covered this. Now, when I make them off camera, I am been known to spend hours making this look perfect. And you totally can. I'm gonna do a little bit because you can't really alter it once you start putting it together. Do make sure that wire is enclosed in clay and isn't sticking out the end. I don't know if you saw the wire was away. Right. Flammable Zebra said, hi Carly, how are you doing? Oh, hi Flammable Zebra. Lovely to see you. I'm doing okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Right. I call this good enough. Okay. So that's what we got. Black l with a little tick at the end now got to do the same on the other one i reckon we won't need all that clay so let's just do a little bit of that like that that'll do it do remember try and work tidy if you've got little bits of clay dotting around it's so easy to not notice it and put what you're working down onto the wrong color and then you are stuck trying to clean it down with acetone and all that sort of madness so just making time and taking time to clean up hmm you can use acetone i use um isopropyl alcohol I find that acetone has been a bit hit and miss with me whereas isopropyl alcohol works every time but I find using it 
100% neat or 100% pure melts too much of the top layer it gets too messy so I go for 80% you can either get 80% rubbing alcohol because rubbing alcohol is basically isopropyl alcohol and um, what is it sterile water what's it called medical distilled water, distilled water that's the word um, but personally because I'm not using it on wounds I'm using it on clay I get 100% neat and water my own down with tap water and that does just as well for me like yeah and once you've got it in the house you find there's a hundred uses like there is for everything that you end up with in your house right like with everything when you're making a second of anything you've got a harder job because you've not only got to make it look like what it's meant to but it's got to look like the one you just made exactly so you want your thick bits the same thickness and your thin bits the same thinness it's it's always been the harder task so if you find that you made the first one covered in clay a lot easier than you find making the second one that's normal that's not just you it's even harder with things like facial features where the left side's got a mirror exactly the right side so don't feel discouraged just keep fiddling with it you will get there now another little tip you can see i've got a little bit of dust on there i can either clean that off or use that as the inside side of the wheelchair which is what i'll probably end up doing always try and get your best looking side as the visible side it just is sense right pinching pulling getting there with this still got excess clay but that is fine you can just see what i'm doing pulling it up and around that bend and making sure that i've got rid of any air that's been trapped because what you will find the air will make a cushion so that the clay cannot stick to the wire and <clears throat> it also creates a weaker point it's not like with ceramics it won't explode not unless it's um a very 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 thin part it'll just, it'll just crack but polymer clay is very flexible it will withstand some movement in it without cracking right now i've got to make these handles look the same there we go just pulling it up that last bit of fiddling is the bit that can consume your time especially if you put an audio book on you think you've only been perfecting it for 30 seconds and it's actually been half hour and <clears throat> that's what i love about claying getting in <clears throat> getting into the zone so that i don't notice how rough i'm feeling wonderful right remember bit of the wire sticking out i'm just tidying up you could just i could have used my exacto blade to trim off that excess and then it would have been a neat and straight cut but it's not so necessary so that'll do that'll do with that right so these go to one side i like to get most of my components together before i start to assemble it get a bit of tissue have a bit of a wipe down even though i'm going back to black as amy winehouse said I still want to clean because I'm going to be picking up something that's blue 
try and pick your wheels up from the edge rather than from the top and bottom just in case you have still got black in your hands and you don't leave a big old might fingerprint be, might be left looks yeah like. but I'm about to start working with black again so it's very little point what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the tires so there is two ways you can do this either let's do the hard one either you can make a long thin sausage and then you've got a join around sort of smooth out where that join is if you don't want to smooth out a join if you want to make a entire circle this is harder so i'll probably only do it for one but i will show you the process you're going to make what looks like a hockey puck then we are going to get a pin tool like that and stick a hole through the middle doesn't have to be entirely centered and then we're going to get that and roll it along the side to make that hole a little wider now next stage let's find a ball tool <laughs> just looking for a good tool for it anything with a smooth rounded metal side so <clears throat> knitting needles good for this but anything that will fit in there that you can then start to bring that edge smaller so that you've got a larger hole but the actual thickness is thinner and we're going to bring it out and start to work on it like so And the trick is when you're doing it like this the difficulty is to make sure that you don't overstretch it and that it's still even this room is hot today so my clay is more sticky uh, get in there a little bit more stretch out and I can neaten it up once it's on the form that might be good put, if we can put a fan on let me know if me putting a fan on makes it too noisy we're just going to form that around then we get to smooth it all out and make it not look so bumpy and blotchy like so little twists little taps is what I advise make sure any masking tape or <clears throat> any wire is covered rather Oop. over that way a bit more like this you can see how it is slightly harder to get the um, thickness even throughout it is easier just to do the second way which I do on all the other wheels but I thought I'd show you this there that will do okay I'll probably fiddle with that a little bit more once we're done tonight but you can see what I mean yeah so one wheel the far easier way for me is <clears throat> let's get this base out of the way is to just roll out a sausage of clay and join it <coughs> sorry folks gone all croaky again here we go long thin sausage weirdly enough i thought my colostomy range would get more buyers but it's the wheelchair and crutches that I get a lot of I back before I had a colostomy I thought um, it was literally only old people that had them and that is entirely not true there are more young people that have them for various reasons and it's a it's fine it really is right you want to make sure this strand 
is the same thickness all the way along like so and how you do that if you've got like a bulge like there you hold and roll over that bit just until it's flat and then just pull it back again so that should do fine now let's pick up my disc I'm going to use my counter to help me center it so instead of holding it in my hand and then wrapping it round I leave the it flat on my counter and then bring it round and push it on firmly now if you didn't have that wire ring you would find that you would have a real big old time trying to get a nice circle and you will also find when you go to put it together the wheels buckle and fold in half which is what happened with my first wheelchair that I tried to do so just putting that frame in can be so helpful but you got to make sure your wires covered by clay or it looks a bit dodgy and also it's not as good structurally so just take a bit of time cover up your wire like so then we need to work on that join um the best tool i find to smooth over a join like that is a ball tool personally you can use like a shovel flat edge especially to get it started but i find that you don't get into the gap properly but you got to be careful that you don't smudge it onto the blue like so and what I would do is where that join is I'll put that as the bit of the wheel that contacts the ground so it's less obvious so do things like that to help yourself if you've got a bit that looks messy try and put it in a less obvious place there we go that's that wheel and you can see what I mean it's easier to get it perfect than it is this way I actually think that might even be a little too thick on this one so I'm going to trim it down a bit that's also an option you can come around and trim around the edge I do love a craft knife I know you it's very hard to work polymer clay without a tissue blade but I also agree that it's very hard to work it without a craft knife as well you just got to be very careful and think about your knife safety so you can see I'm just going around and I'm just trimming it up and I'll neaten up any scruffiness after Ooh. Like that. Let's get all these bits of black out of the way and get my blades out of the way, and then I'll come in and start to tidy up the mess that is this tire. It won't take long, you'll find it will come back into line nicely. Here we go, right, almost there that'll do that'll do two tires and the same with the little ones so I'm back with this again it's going around the wire if you look at google a, a wheelchair the front wheels are small Google it. Now, whenever you're making anything, 
I think it's always worth going on to Google images and looking up photos of the thing you're going to make. What I find actually hinders me more is when I look up pictures of what people have made of the same thing. Yeah, see? No, massive back wheel ones are off roaders and are much more rare. <coughs> My voice is going. Right. There we go. That wheel is mostly covered fine. One last wheel to do some tyres on. Then we are putting some together. Right. Last back tyre. Front tyre rather. Now. There we are. Like that. It is um, the case again there are different types of wheelchairs out there and if you've got someone who you're making specifically for you can just get them to send you a picture of theirs but you you'll find yeah if you're doing a commission or if you're making it for someone who's got a wheelchair you totally can otherwise just do stock images on google but this is the most common type of wheelchair is a tiny front wheels quite large backed wheels right gonna need this black again so i am gonna put it just to one side like this now Let's give my hands a proper, proper wipe because I'm starting to put stuff on. Sorry, kitchen roll is on the floor. I'm back up again. I still prefer working with black than I do white. Now, properly clean those tips. There we go. Right. So, first thing we're going to do is get our seat cushion and we're going to put the long bit facing against your board and we're going to push the seat cushion into place slightly ahead of that um, back bar okay you can see the line up there yeah just about and we're going to push that on and make sure it's stuck then we're going to get the next one and do the same thing making sure they're lined up like so bring that back up there we are like that now let's get the back cushion on that goes just under the bend for the handlebars like so make sure <clears throat> when you're pushing them on you're using the flat of your hands rather than the tips of your fingers if you push with the tips of your fingers what you're liable to do is squidge the clay from the black either side of your finger and then end up pushing on the metal wire and it poking through so little gentle taps make sure it's all sitting how you want it's all stuck together well but you haven't pushed the clay through the wire through the clay rather right i'm gonna lift that up like so come on off the board there we go so I'm holding by the back seat 
and giving it a shake make sure it's all attached it's easier to stick it back together again at this stage than it is to do so once you have actually made it right we're going to get a base and we're going to decide where to put this so probably there Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Up like this, we put the rest, that little armature we made to stop it going through. There we go. It's Sorry, a support. Yes. I'm so foggy today. Right. We're going to get our wheels. Pick the best side for the front, which I think is that side, and we're going to push that onto that bend, like so, and push down onto the clay base. Do the same with the other wheel. Pick the side which you think is the prettiest. Bring it up. There we go, like that. Push it on in place, like that trying to make them face forward trying to make sure you don't buckle them so make sure that they're sat where you want pushy 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 now the front wheels so they go at the tip of your stick like that and the same with the other one Whoop. like this come on lay right takes a bit of fiddling just to get it all stuck down nice once it's baked you'll be able to pull that metal sheet out so don't worry it will work fine right <clears throat> so now we are on to the armrests actually let's put the little handles on we might as well since we're here so roll that into a little cylinder so it looks like a tic tac and we're just going to push them onto that wire like so there you go little handles do the same on the next one and then we'll get onto the armrests it's a good blue color I think the NHS wheelchairs are blue can't swear to it but I'm pretty sure they are now so like that make sure it's all sitting how you want it nice and pretty I think the right hand wheel is slightly further back this one Back large wheel. Yep, yeah, this one is slightly forward. So you can bring it off, move it back a little. Try not to distort it. There we go. How's that? That looks good. You can turn it straight down toward basically. I can see it in the big screen. Like this? great these might be slightly too long you could possibly make the front wheels shorter but it does give you room for leg so yeah right armrests i am gonna need some more glue actually for my armrests so again you only want some little tic tac sized amounts of blue clay for the armrest Roll them out. We're going to need some black as well. No, it's good. It's good enough. Yeah. So, like this. Rolly, rolly, rolly. Now, we're going to along one side 
push that on and roll it out to about there oops smooth you out of course I'll have a blemish that's just typical me there we go we don't want it to go all the way up the wire you want a little bit left and the same on the next wire like that ball on roll it up so that it's touching the corner of the bend but not all the way up the wire like this make sure that you push it and make sure it's quite firmly attached to the wire and it's not just gaping around it and being baggy there we go how are we just making sure that it's firmly pushed on there right that's your first bit of your arm done clean around here it's getting messy now we're back to black again so what I need <coughs> is some of Eva actually it might be easier to do it as a ball enough for a couple of balls and enough for the end of that wire although we're gonna probably need less than that there we go right two little balls we're gonna put them on the end of that wire there like so because we're going to continue the black but we I would make that can happen where you overstretch the clay and make it bag can you see it's pretty loose and wobbly it's so hard when we're working in such minute clays just fold it over and push and smooth and make sure that it sticks to the clay and to the wire like that that do get your nicest side and put it on the top and your second nicest side and put it on one side so that'll do it perfect same again on your next one I know I've got the end stuck out of that that is on purpose that is what you want you're not trying to take it all the way over the top here we go pinch and roll like so now we got to cover the long bit and again you can try and feed a cylinder all the way up the wire so like use a whole stick like that and push that whole whole thing on like that it's so easy to come out the sides i find it's far easier to push a ball on and then manipulate the ball into a cylinder like that so ball push and pull slightly overlap the blue like so bring that down and leave a bit sticking out the bottom like that do the same thing on the other side <coughs> some wheelchairs do have little feet rests as well I'm not doing that on this one just because it's another level of fiddle but what I tend to do for that is just I'll either put a little blue rectangle that's quite thin just something for a feet to sit on so but where our penguin is quite short its legs don't go down that far so it would be pretty useless on that wheelchair right now 
we're going to get this make sure that the blue's at the top and we're going to push that into place whoops come on like so that end goes in like that this end goes in to the back I will lift it up and show you um, and I'm just bringing the clay down to make it the right height and fixing that gouge I've just done and then I'll show you so where I missed with the wire I'm just coming in with the ball tool and smoothing out a gouge I made there we go I still think your hands are your best tools right let's pick it up so we are now at that stage so we've got our arm in like so okay giving it a quick check making sure nothing's buckling and we're going to do the same on the other side so line it up and push it into place that one went in easier because I didn't miss and stab the side see it wasn't an accident I was just showing you what to do in case that happens <laughs> yep right so we've now got the basic wheelchair although the last bit I like to do on the wheels is put a little black dot in the middle for the central wheel nut is that the right term for it so wheel hub that'll do it come in little dot of black clay on the middle of either side Whoop. here we go one on that side and the front ones are going to be little obviously tiny 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 little black dot in there and little black dot so I keep the bit that I meant to throw away and throw away the bit I was going to put on that's perfect here we go right like that so wheelchair dots that's the whole wheelchair made now we've got to do a penguin what i have done if i've done horses or things with a towel you can make the towel and slot that through the gap first and then put the animal in don't try and put the towel on the animal and then try and fit it through that gap it don't work well but let's get wheelchair out of the way and we're going to get our little penguin armature come on lay right there we go we're going to cover this in some black so pinching out a black sheet doesn't have to be smooth doesn't have to be even does need to not be too thin though so i'm at about what would you say half a centimeter yeah about half a centimeter thick yeah that sort of amount now if you've got too much that's fine we're gonna you'll be able to pull it off the edges if you haven't got enough patch it in don't worry but the main thing you need to think about is not trapping any air so I like to make a little cup like that and then start to bring the clay up and around if you're foil isn't really smooth like sm smoothed out on a glass chopping board level smooth then you need to cover it in masking tape because any little metal points will come straight through your clay right now scrappy messy looking uneven absolutely fine yeah because what we're going to do now is we're going to start to smooth it out with our hands you can use your board for that you can use your thumbs just to drag and smooth out the 
join in creases however you like to smooth out your clay is absolutely fine if you feel like you've got an air bubble like the clay's moving around on a patch of air then just pop it with your pin push the air out and carry on right we're looking for the basic teardrop slash penguin shape that'll do me fine now wipe my hands should really get some rubbing alcohol on this because it's really black and I'm about to do white which other colours you can kind of hide black smudges on but white picks up everything if ever there was a colour that needed a hazmat suit right sorry two seconds and I'll be with you there we go right white teardrop I'm going to bring that to the size I want for the stomach it's about that there and the fortunate thing is you don't have to worry about it being central because it's a round shape there is no centre line you make it so about there that I do fine now some little white eyes two dots either side it does doesn't it right tiny orange beak like this I'm gonna come in with my needle tool and just give my penguin beak a little mouth that better yeah. Ooh, yeah. that better yeah. like that now tiny little black pupils I forgot to pre make his feet but that's so simple to do it's barely an inconvenience <laughs> here we go difficulty is if you want to try and get two small small balls the same size and your fingers are too big to pinch it use your pin tool and just use that to slice off what you don't need like so but there are times where your hands are just too big for the job you need and if you have one ball slightly bigger than the other when you push them in place it all look like one of the pupils is larger than the other and you're a stone penguin. it no stone people the pupils are equally large so um one pupil it. is either brain injury or a stroke oh dear yeah so little things like this make a difference i know i've got fingerprints all over this penguin I will be smoothing that out. I try to put the eyes central and downward looking rather than straight in the middle. You can go for eyelids. I have done it. I find it cuter without. So we got this far with him. Tiny penguin. This one's slightly chubbier than I usually do. I usually bring the head up a little thinner. But chubby penguin is absolutely welcome in my world. Let's make him some wings and then some feet and then we're there. It is bakeable and I then stick a coat of varnish on. You don't have to varnish. I do find that it looks nicer shiny. You have to varnish your, your adding surface um things like glitter or chalk pastels or acrylic paint or mica powder or alcohol inks or any 
they call that surface treatment and the reason is your plastic is not porous it is slightly pitted if you look at it under a microscope but not porous enough to hold that stuff on for any great length of time so you want to seal it in and you're looking for polyurethane varnish if you are using it with polymer clay run seal quick dry varnish um, Wilkinson's do a clear one that I'm using at the moment Deco Art does a clear one but yeah just put in polyurethane and go for the cheapest that's gonna cover your needs so now he's let's put him in and then put his arms and then make some feet for him so he goes in the middle make sure that he is fully pushed on to that back and to that bottom and the first wing I'm going to put in and rest up on the arm Whoop, like so now see let's hold him up penguin in one flip up up on the arm and I'm going to put the other flipper you can have it down by his side but I'm going to put them both on the arms but I'm going to put this one on a little more sideways like that now always make sure that your joints are firmly pushed on because the last thing you want is it to come off in baking so one flipper as you can see is flat and the other one is a little more to the side and i change it with each because i like my creations to be one of a kind so i'll change positions i'll change colors if i'm repeating a same type of statue just make sure it's all squared up there's no blemishes you don't want let's make some feet so some orange you're only gonna need a little bit let's take that put the rest of this away two little balls same size now if thank you fairy hedgehog you can just do flat little hockey puck feet but I like to put webbing on mine and I'll show you how I do that because it's really simple so two balls into flat discs thank you so flat discs like this I tend to point the hill because penguins do have a slightly pointed hill a slightly pointed hill I'm gonna to have to clean this up because I didn't wipe my side down enough and now it's got black on the orange feet <sighs> the need is real but there we go it's these things happen that's what alcohol was made for but it does really just strip it right off let me show you on this big mark here so oh don't knock your butt low for that'll be great let's see have we got the focus can you see not really yeah it's not showing up so well on digital but trust me there's some black streaks on there and there ain't no more that'll do it's done right what I tend to do, you can see how much it's melted by the cotton bud being bright orange. Right, what I do is I get a ball tool and I do a little dent in the middle and then one to either side like that. You want them right on the edge. I will hold them up once I've got them done. There we go. Oop, and oop. So you can see the little dents because they have webbing and the little points between the dents are where the toes are 
we're just going to put them in front of that penguin like so Whoop, and done get rid of that mark yeah. there we are why is it when I'm almost done a tool that works perfectly well will do something and leave odd marks there we go penguin let's hold him up give you all a proper look there's the front there's the sides there's the back does a bit because you've got the wire in the wheels but you really really need that bit of foil there or the bottom falls out whilst it's baking and you end up with a penguin that's sat on the floor and a lot of gluing to do what I tend to do to get rid of fingerprints is I just come over very gently and just pet it sorry slight barely touching strokes and it just takes off all the fingerprints fingerprints are so surface you can try and rubbing alcohol them but when you've got a couple of different colors together rubbing alcohol will melt it all and then swell the colors so you've got to be very careful with where you put it and how much you put on it so that you don't end up with a complete mess but come along make sure you're happy with it or give it a little pet and then sign it and bake it and you've got your own wheelchair penguin i hope you like this and if you make any of your own wheelchair models do share a picture with me i absolutely love seeing what other people's made from my tutorials <clears throat> have a great week i have no idea what i'm doing next week i'm gonna have to work that out if any of you guys have got any suggestions not jewelry i don't do jewelry but other than that let me know yeah um have a great week like follow subscribe share all the good stuff like that it really helps build the channel um and i will see you all later all right Thanks. Have a good week.